Welcome to Thursday, and I don't even need to look up what day it is because you all know it's Groundhog Day. Last year I did a gag where I, I repeated things over and over again because of the movie, but people didn't like it, so I would never do that again, despite the fact that it is Crypto Espresso, your teeny tiny daily shot of caffeinated crypto headlines. What, I, I said I wouldn't do it again. Anyway, I'm your host, Andrew, and uh, deja vu. First up, the Federal Reserve has increased its base interest rates by 0.25 percentage points which is a much smaller rise than previously. It was a much anticipated move that looked priced in, but that didn't stop Bitcoin from staging a miniature rally late on Wednesday. Bitcoin passed $24,000 amid optimism that the era of continual rate hikes could soon be at an end, with inflation beginning to cool down. And all of this coincided with the tech-heavy Nasdaq surging to its highest level since September of 2022. Both the Bank of England and the European Central Bank followed in the Fed's footsteps in reviewing their interest rates on Thursday, with both opting for a rise of 0.5 percentage points. Of course, there are fears that aggressive interest rate rises could spark recessions. Well, it was a set of bittersweet results for Meta. Mark Zuckerberg's ambitious bet on the metaverse lost a staggering $13.7 billion over the course of 2022. And this trend is expected to continue well into 2023. Despite that, the tech giant has predicted that revenues will hit $28.5 billion in the first quarter of this year, which is better than it was before Apple cut off Meta's access to iPhone data. This, when coupled with plans for a $40 billion stock buyback, helped the company's stock spike by almost 20%. Meta's executives maintain that there are significant long-term opportunities when it comes to virtual worlds, but tried telling that to the people who just aren't interested. A judge has prohibited Sam Bankman-Fried from contacting FTX employees without a lawyer present and banned him from using encrypted messaging apps like Signal. All of this comes after SBF messaged a potential witness in his upcoming trial, writing that he would like to vet things with each other, which has been angled by the prosecution as witness tampering. Judge Lewis Kaplan said SBF's message to Witness One was an attempt to make sure they're singing from the same hymn book. The disgraced entrepreneur has caused no shortage of headaches for his legal team thanks to his numerous ill-advised media interviews, substack posts, and Twitter threads. Andrew Tate, who I guess is tangentially related to crypto, has had his request to be freed from detention in Romania rejected by a judge for the second time. As he was escorted from the courthouse in Romania, he told reporters that they'll soon find out the truth of this case. His legal team argues that there's a lack of evidence to keep him behind bars on accusations of rape, human trafficking, and forming an organized crime group. The ruling means he'll remain behind bars until February 27th, the earliest, while the prosecution still builds its case. It's very possible that this detention could be extended further still. Tate, his brother Tristan, and two Romanian women deny any wrongdoing. On Twitter, the kickboxer turned influencer appears to be likening himself to Nelson Mandela, though given the Matrix is after him, I'd go with Keanu Reeves. A record $3.8 billion was stolen by crypto hackers in 2022, new research from Chainalysis reveals. And worryingly, $1.7 billion of that was linked to North Korean groups, in the latest sign that crime has become a sizable chunk of the nation's economy. This is four times higher than the $429 million that the secretive state swiped in 2021. And there's long been a belief that these illicit funds are being used to fund Pyongyang's nuclear weapons program. On a brighter note though, Chainalysis's latest crypto crime report said, while North Korea-linked hackers are undoubtedly sophisticated and represent a significant threat to the cryptocurrency ecosystem, law enforcement and national security agencies' ability to fight back is growing. And finally, ARK Invest's crypto-friendly founder Kathy Wood is sticking by her prediction that Bitcoin will surge to $1 million by the end of the decade. In a new report, her firm argues that the failure of centralized businesses over the past year have actually elevated Bitcoin's value propositions, which are decentralization, auditability, and transparency. Over three, four, and five-year timeframes, ARK Invest says that Bitcoin has outperformed every major asset class. Beyond that, institutions including BlackRock, BNY, Mellon, and Fidelity, among others, committed to Bitcoin during the bear market. ARK's research forecasts that digital assets could end up being a $10 trillion industry by 2023 also, which is compared to about $1 trillion today. And speaking of $10 trillion... That's a lot of money. Unrelated to that, please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click on that little bell icon to get buzzed whenever a new Crypto Espresso video goes live. You know it is Groundhog Day, so if you see your shadow today, what are we getting six more weeks of? Sam Bankman-Fried doing ill-advised interviews? Elon Musk making edgy tweets that a 14-year-old would make? Or Mark Zuckerberg's online avatar still looking like poop? Well, keep those all to yourself because comments are still disabled. 
questions about our headlines or crypto in general, well, just ask Alex in that description below. Alex is a great resource for all things Web3 and the metaverse, and that about does it for today. Now I'm gonna actually have to take tomorrow off because I need to ask my son if he sees his shadow when we pull him out of my wife's uterus. <laughs> uh, no, but really, that's, that's actually happening tomorrow, so expect me to sound much more sleep deprived in the next few months. But it's okay, your faces are still beautiful and shining, and I should hopefully see you all on Monday. Please knock on the nearest piece of wood.